Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement this uh, meteor shower effect using Unreal Engine Niagara effect system. So this is fairly this is a fairly simple particle system. Uh, involves only two emitters. One is for the one sprite is for the head of the meteorite and the other one is for the trail. Uh, head will be implemented with the uh, texture or a sprite and the trail will be implemented with the uh, ribbon trail in a grass system. Everything will be implemented from scratch. Right, so first let's head to our FX folder and create a new Niagara system using selected emitters. So I'll choose this fountain NS is what we get okay so first we don't need a velocity in cone uh, so I'll remove that module and also I disable gravity we don't need that too and instead of this sphere location let me delete that I'll add a box location so this has to be since we are plan to put this in the sky this uh, these particles has to spawn in a lot uh, within a large range huge range so how about 80,000 X and Y he said maybe just thousand should be enough and now we after I do that I can't really see any of these particles because um, they are very small and spawned throughout the huge region let me just apply and put it here still don't see anything right, so let's increase the size and also the lifetime maybe Eight, four to eight, and uh, sprite size mode. I set it to uniform, something like two thousand. Oh yeah, now we can see. Okay, and this is actually they are spawning in the ground, but they has to spawn high in the sky. 10,000 maybe more 20,000 seems all right um, okay now let me reduce the scale a bit okay and they should fall down so I'll add velocity in this form. Uh, what should it be? Minus two thousand because it should fall down. Now it is directly falling down, uh, but it would be better if it has some angle. So five thousand. okay seems good right now we have the basic moment uh, maybe we don't need this track that's a minor thing uh, <coughs> right now we only have the head of the particle uh, next step is to get the uh, we, of, of course we need to modify the shape of the head it's just a simple circle i think we need to have something like a flare mm, 
yeah for the trail let me add uh, let's add uh, ribbon location based ribbon all right so now the ribbon has to spawn on these particles so this does have this receive location event uh, but we haven't assigned anything so in the particle update i'll create a generate location event Particles ID parameter can be used before the particle IDs require persistent ID has to be activated activated in the emitter properties. Okay, right. We have the location event. Uh, receive location event. Let's set to this fountain in the event handler properties location event. Right, still we don't see a trail. Maybe the scale ribbon width is try 100. Oh, yeah, now we get the trail. Lifetime, how about two? Try and see. Okay, now we have a trail. Now we have a basic meteor shower actually. And uh, also, you might notice once these trails are rendered, it doesn't render anymore. That's because of this life cycle mode. What if I set this to system? Right. Now I can always get trails. Alright. Um, okay so now the basic parts are done but let's keep improving this mm -hmm. okay the next thing i want to do is having some distinct shape for the head for that i imported this flare texture so uh, well, you can find one in Google. Uh, the reason to use a player is I just refer to some of the images I found in Google. Uh, actually, these are not, even though they are not accurate, they look cool when there is some flare. So, flare, transparent, you can get something like this with the transparent background. Uh, or you can just find create one yourself or you can get one of these and create uh, oh, this one has a transparent background yeah so create a texture for yourself right so <clears throat> right here is the texture flare texture I imported and this sprite renderer is using default sprite material which is resides in this Niagara content default assets. So let me copy this to this flare folder I have created in my materials and I'll name this M flare. <coughs> right. Now let's import this player texture here and let's multiply this opacity with, uh, with the alpha channel. Right. 
now we do have this flare shape let me apply this and see how it looks oh i didn't still apply this material select this and assign in flare it's not very visible let's increase the size this is 500 how about 2000 let's align this to the velocity okay but the edges are too too sharp here um, don't really look like a flare so uh, what if I multiply this MSO color also with the alpha value hmm, that seems better good okay uh, now let's give this some um, illumination here okay. Maybe too much. How oh, about three? Seems fine. Mm. Make it a bit blue. we can do for the head so uh, one thing I notice is this the, there is no flickering it seems constant throughout the lifetime so we what if we had some flickering effect how oh. Yeah, let's add another multiplier with uh, noise texture. The noise texture. Yeah, this is probably nice. Let's add that. So now we have this shape. Uh, can I? Now we have this noise, but it uh, still doesn't flicker, and the noise texture seems tiling is too small. So let's add texture coordinate. And multiply this. The smaller value like zero one. Oh, now we don't really see anything, but if we move this texture with time uh, by giving an offset, we might be able to get some flickering. So let's add the time. See, 
now we get some flickering effect as we as the material updates but that may be too fast let's see how it looks here now yeah now we do have the flickering yeah maybe that's enough or oh, if we want to slow it down we can multiply it with the decimal value but I guess this would work right now let's fix the trail it's too sharp so by default we have this default ribbon material so Well, yeah. Let me copy this into my materials folder. I'll name it M. Prayer. 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 Right let me change this to a plane so as you can see here oh let me first assign this let me assign this same ribbon tray right now let's modify this so as you can see uh, so it does have this sharp edge on the sides too uh, the fading out happens only from only it get closer to the edge of the end of the trail so uh, here let's get another mask node and this time let's get the G channel so from these two edges also I need to have the fading effect But if I multiply this, uh, this would only give me the top side. Okay, so we need to have in the mid, we need to have the full visibility, and the edges in both edges, we need to have the fair enough. Mm. What if I subtract 0.5 from this? No. Mm -hmm. Subtract 0.5 and get absolute value. Right now we have the in the middle we have the transparency. So if I multiply, no, if I get one minus uh, let's get another subtract node and subtract this value from point five right now we have the edges also fair enough so yeah now that's better I think yeah instead of having a constant width from the beginning to end we have uh, the width also getting thinner right two uh, yeah uh, now let's change the color let's copy the same color all right mm, is it good oh uh, we need to change it 
uh, how about a reduced opacity here? Yeah, that seems better, I think. Reduce opacity and let's increase this guy. This this become same. Look at this from the layers perspective. Right, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here, and I think this is good enough. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.